Alright, so after we multiply both sides by 15, you'll end up getting 9x plus 12 on the left side, 10x plus 5 on the right side. Now, we don't have any like terms, so we have to undo. So between 9 and 10, coefficient of x, which one is smaller? 9x, right? Or the 9, uh, the, the, this one, uh, coefficient 9. So we have to undo 9x. Cancel this one out. We get 12 equals, what's 10x minus 9x? Just 1x plus 5. And finally, we subtract 5 both sides. We we'll get x equals 7. Okay? All right, next question. Um, this time, instead of a rectangle, we have a triangle. Some of us drew a rectangle. Uh, sorry, drew a triangle. And some of you said, okay, x, x plus 3, x plus 9, for example. It says that the perimeter is 21. So what the, what's the meaning of this? If you're going to sum this side, which is x, with this side, which is x plus 3, and this side, which is x plus 9, the sum should be equal to what? 21. That's your perimeter. Okay? So, from here, we can solve your x. So, x plus x plus x will give you 3x. 3 plus 9 will give you 12. Okay? Before, I end, before we undo stuff, we try to combine terms first. Okay? Now, I don't have any more like terms here. So, that's when we have to subtract 12 both sides. What's 21 minus 12? 3x equals 9. And how do we solve for x? If you have 3x equals 9, divide by 3. Therefore, your x will be equal to Okay? So, sometimes we have to apply what we learn. Okay? This one in terms of your uh, triangle and then the perimeter. All right? And one last one. Um, number three, solving for literal equation. So if we have H, sorry, S equals HP plus 2B, we're trying, we are trying to solve for H. If you want, draw a line to indicate uh, the left and right side of our equation. We need to solve for H. So to discover this one, I need to get rid of 2B. How can I remove this? Okay, so pack. This gun, then I'll have S minus 2B equals this. And then we're trying to solve for H. What's the operation between H and P? That's multiplication. To undo or to, to remove the P, we have to use the opposite. Uh, the inverse operation, which is division. So cancel out. So H is equal to S minus 2B divided by B. So the answer should be letter, help me, E? Okay, there you go. Letter E. All right. Let's solve, identify the two steps wherein we use multiplication property of equality. Now remember, whenever we use this type of property, same thing with addition property, uh, division property, subtraction property, it should be on both sides, okay, both sides. So in what step wherein we multiply on both sides? Six, very good. So uh, step six, we multiplied one half to both sides. Okay, so step six will be one of the correct answer. Okay, and then you have to go one step back. So step five and step six will be the answer here. Meaning from five to six, from step five to step six, we can only get step six if you multiply both sides by one half. Okay, so from step five, you'll get step six by multiplying one half to both sides. There we go. Number 13, 
the answer is B and C. Now, what property? Let's say we would like to know the property between steps 6 and 7. What do you think is the property for steps 6 to 7? Go ahead. Yes, this is your multiplicative inverse, okay? Because from 6 to 7, we canceled 1 half and 2. And that's your inverse, okay? All right, so there we go. I hope you could differentiate the multiplication property from your multiplicative inverse. All right, let's do number 17. Again, this is a perimeter question, so let's start with the formula. What was the formula again? All right. Okay. And then let's see what's given. Let's start with the P. Do we have any P given? Okay, what else is given? Okay, the length. So now I'm going to write this. Length is what? Okay. W. W. Okay. It says here that we have yeah, 8 inches less than twice the width. Again, if you have less than, you have to read backwards. So, highlight the word less than. This is your less than. Starting from this one, followed by this. So we have twice the width, that's 2W minus 8. Once you have this, you go back to your formula. This time, I have to replace my L. Because L is the one that's given in here. My L is 2W minus 8. And I will now replace my P also by 60. Okay? After this, we will distribute. Be careful. Don't just write for W minus 8. It will be wrong. Okay? So make sure that you do 4W minus what? 16. Okay, 16. Plus 2W equals 62. Don't undo yet. We have like terms. So like terms, we just 4W plus 2W. Okay, 6W. No more like terms, so we have to undo 16. I mean, I meant undo negative 16. Okay, what is 62 plus 16? 78. 78. I still have 6W here. So divide by 6, divide by 6. What do we have? What's that? 13. All right, 13. Are we looking for the width? No, we're not yet. Oh, we're looking for the length, so we are not yet done. So I'll write W equals 13 here. L, bring this one down. 13. Yeah, yes, so I'll replace my W by 13. And then simplify everything. This is, all right, 26 minus 8. What's 26 minus 8? 18. Um, we're talking about inches, so don't forget to write inches, inches, okay? All right, so that's how we do number 17. I also ask you to do number number 10 and 3, right? Okay, let's do number 10 first. How do I get um, this to this? What should I do? Subtract 20, right? Subtract 20, subtract 20. And what is this? When you subtract 20 both sides? This addition property, or yeah, it could also subtraction property, okay? Addition or subtraction property, subtraction property of equation, okay? And then to get this, we have to cancel, correct? I have to cancel 20 and negative 20. And what property is that? Additive inverse, okay? Now, in this problem, they did not show the minus 20 to both sides. It means that this was not included. So from this step to this, the property that we use is additive inverse. Okay? So the correct answer is letter B. Okay? Tomorrow. Okay? It should, should be today, but then um, I decided to uh, give you more practice. And finally, number three, how do I get step one from the given? What should we do to get step one? Okay, add seven. But I hope nobody chose A. Okay? 
okay? Because I need to figure out step one. We did, they did not show the plus seven to both sides because this step, the, the missing step here is your addition property. But since they did not show that uh, step, we should not be mentioning, we should not mention addition property. But of course, to get this, we have to cancel the seven and negative seven, right? So to get this one, step one, is your additive inverse. So the correct answer is letter B, okay? All right, and finally, last one. I know some of us might have problem solving this type of question. It's number eight. Anybody were able to um, reach number eight? Okay, we have some students. Okay, let's do this all together. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to solve for R. Now I will rewrite this question into pi r squared divided by three. Okay, they are the same thing. Note that um, I can just write one here and say one times pi r squared h is pi r squared h. I forgot about the h. And then 3 times 1 is just equal to 3. I need my r squared. I need this. It's surrounded by pi, h, and divided by r. I mean divided by 3. So how do I get my r squared? Let's try to remove your denominator first. So multiply by 3 first, okay? I will have here 3v equals pi r squared h. I need the r. Okay, watch this. I will switch pi and r squared. And then try to figure out the operation between the r squared and your pi h. Because I need to remove my pi h. We have to know the operation between these two so that um, I know the, I'll just use the inverse of that operation. All right, what's the operation between r squared, r squared and pi h? It's multiplication. Then the opposite of multiplication is division. All right, this will cancel out. I still have the exponent 2. How do I remove the exponent 2? Take the square root both sides. This will cancel out, so we will have square root of 3v divided by pi h, and that's what? Option A, option A, okay? So there we go. Okay. And one more thing I, I just realized. If I have a question like this, 2x plus 4 equals negative 2 and 2 thirds, what was the first step again? Just want to make sure that we know how to solve this type of question. Change this into improper fraction. So how do we write this as improper fraction? All right, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2, 8. So it will become 8 over 3 minus negative. And then after this, what's my next step? Multiply everything by? by five. All right, so there we go. Okay, please continue working in your package.